Hello friends, hope you're doing well. This is just going to be a quick and simple video about how I stay productive, basically the use of uh, various notepads that I use. And I'm definitely going to be making more videos uh, around this. So this is just a quick and simple guide. Um, I've been using notepads for the longest time, so many years, right, right from paper and pen, having a to-do list to then using something like a notepad plus plus and then using these cloud platforms that are syncing across all devices. So I just wanted to give you a quick demo of it and I'll talk a little bit through it and you can ask me whatever questions you want so I can cover it in the next videos and subscribe to the channel so that you can learn more tips and tricks from me. Okay, so now as you can see, this application is called Simple Note. This has been around for a really long time. It's owned by WordPress. It's not the most secure, but it is so simple to use and uh, it's really fast to sync across devices. So sometimes if I just want to copy paste a link or a text, I would put it over here and then it would be immediately synced to my other device. And so I, I use it to switch devices. Uh, I have like really important notes that I fill in every single day. Like this is this is the random stuff where I write, you know, any temporary stuff. Uh, this is my log. So I maintain a log every single day about things I do basically keeping track of what I did during the day. Also things that I'm grateful for, my expenses, the sunrise and sunset times, all kinds of interesting things. This is my to-do list. It is quite big. I've got many tasks divided into my YouTube stuff, my coaching stuff, um, Alive as One, which is our community organization stuff and then things I need to buy, people I need to talk to, and then topics I want to explore. Then I have a diary. It's called MCS, My Contemporary Self. Uh, it's so interesting to be talking about this. I've been kind of like journaling and doing this MCS on paper since I was in school. It's been like so many years, decades that I've been doing this. But this is my current format. And then I do it on Simple Note because it's like so simple and fast. On the other hand, this is Standard Notes. Now, this is the application that I'm switching to. And literally today, I've been working on migrating to it. I was using Evernote before. I will be showing you that as well. So there are so many different options in terms of notepads that you can use. So as you can see in this one, I've really organized it well. You know, it's got some nice features where you can put emojis. And let's see what I get within YouTube. So basically, this is the view of all the notes here. But, you know, you can pin notes, you can star them. So you have the important stuff in front of you. Uh, this is the place where I have all of my scripts for my upcoming videos. Uh, I maintain a log of all my clients and any programs that I'm working on, uh, basically official stuff. And then Evernote is the application that I was using. I think it's a really good application. It's just become a little bit heavy for me. Uh, it, it does have some really nice features like OCR, basically being able to read images. So being able to upload images and then you know being able to take out text from it but also the ability to, to have PDFs, to be able to annotate on top of it, you know, using a, using a pencil and you can use it across any device, right? So even if you're using an iPad or phone and lately it's got an AI feature, which is really nice. I feel uh, I've never personally used it, but at least Evernote is trying to, to go according to the times, but I am moving away from it. I have a set of so many criteria that I need from a notepad. Uh, it needs to be cross-device functional. It needs to be really fast. It, it needs to be in your budget, right? So many of them are becoming a little bit expensive because they are being advertised as a productivity tool rather than a, a notepad, you know, like who would pay a lot of money for a notepad? But this really helps you acting like a second brain helping you keep your stuff organized and actually helping you become more productive, like helping you see things in a different way or process things in a different way, in a, in a more logical way, if, if that's your style, or even if that's something that you're lacking in, you know, if you're, if you're more of a creative thinker and you lack a certain sense of kind of linearity when working towards things, this can help. On the other hand, I do know some mind mapping tools, which are more for creatives, which kind of have like a tree sort of thing. So really, there are so many alternatives. I just want to name a few more alternatives to you. There is Microsoft OneNote. There is Google Keep, which is very simplistic, very basic. There is Notion that a lot of people are using lately. And all of these have freemium versions. So many of the features are free. If you want to use the advanced features, you need to pay for it. 
Then these days I've found that the Apple Notes, Samsung Notes, uh, Xiaomi MI Notes, they're all pretty decent. Uh, it's just that my requirements are so extensive and I have like this whole Excel sheet uh, exercise that I do in order to select the right tool for me or to even make a decision to like decide which cell phone to buy or which place to move to. So I'll share about that as well uh, in the coming videos. But I hope you found this video uh, interesting. You got to learn something new. Please ask me questions because I have worked on this a lot and there is a lot I can share about it. But let me know what would be uh, helpful and uh, uh, something new that you would like to learn. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.